In the meantime, what we're going to do with esoteric medicine or universal medicine, what we're going to do is continuously break the astral plane and its constructs. So that's part of what my voice can do when I speak. So I can actually, when I speak, it's fourth dimensional because it's coming from the fifth dimension. So it's heard on the astral plane too. So the freeloader spirits that don't pay their five dollars also get to sit in, and there's quite a few of them. Um, that the astral plane echoes the words, and those spirits that hear that also share information with other spirits. It's really lovely how it's done. And they say, "Hey, guess what? Cosmic like already the message has gone out. Hey, cosmic being isn't the big thing it used to be. Uh, there's people down there that can get us out in less than two seconds. In fact, there's a little girl called." whatever her name is, I can't remember, Faith, who can actually get us out now. So we were told we were going to be the most, you know, ruling, powerful, untouchable uh, forces on earth, and yet these little four or five-year-old girl can take us out just like that. So the message is out there. Cosmic being is not the career that, <laughs> that, the, uh, that you could um, achieve in the astral plane. And... Although this might be funny to you, and it is, and I'm being playful, it is a fact. What I'm telling you is the truth. I swear on my mother's dying. <laughs> it's in fact a truth. Yep. The astral plane is actually recalibrating because it's hearing differently. That the gig is not to be on the astral plane and be powerful and almighty and be able to in invade people or, or um, possess people and so forth. You know, the, the beautiful operation of a bypass and so forth stops us from dying young if we have a heart attack at four and our arteries are clogged up and so forth. But what it is actually saying is, has it really worked to put that person back out into society? Has it really worked to put them back out and to continue doing what they've done? And, and that, is, that is the study. That is a study that we need to have responsibly. Now... As a parent or as a child, you might say, well, that was, that's great. I could have lost my father or my mother at the age of 45 and I would be motherless or fatherless at the age of 15 or 18 or 12 or whatever. And thanks to the uh, miracles, modern miracles or technological miracles of medicine, I've been able to have my father or mother for another 20, 30, even 40 years. But if we really, really study what we're actually getting, what are we really getting? For example... Um, both my parents have had a massive heart attack and, they've, uh, and both have had a quadruple, uh, one's had a quadruple bypass and the other one's had a triple bypass, hearts in the family. So if I look at the type of life they have lived ever since coming back, it's actually far worse than the life they had beforehand. So they've come back and still eat all the things they're not supposed to eat because now they're given more right because the pill is going to thin their blood anyway and take away this and take away that. And so we've, I've ended up with parents who are, say, for example, uh, not for example, are going to be 80, but my mother's been on Zoloft and antidepressant stuff or whatever for the last 25 to 30 years. She's still pretty good, she's still pretty there, but she's not living the full life that I would say, wow, that's my mum, that's just somebody I visit and love. But it isn't the, the, to say that on a temporal level, yes, my mother is still alive, she's not dead. But for her sake, it would have been much better to be taken out by, by that moment where the soul says, you're not love. There's no love in your heart. You only think you're love because you're Latin and can express it emotionally. But there's no real love in your heart. 
and have that massive heart attack when the soul just comes near and says, this is love. And the heart explodes because it's not love. And you have this heart attack. And so if she gets taken out at that moment, in truth, dare I say it, and if you're ready to hear it, it's much better for her to pass over and come back, leaving under the imprint of the soul that caused that healing, than to have it fixed and then come back to ignore that, that message and continue to live the life that she has, accumulating more and more what she, has, uh, what she did before the heart attack. Does that make sense? I know it's big for us because we still want our parents to be alive, we still want our children to be alive and so forth. But esoteric medicine will eventually, in the book, maybe book two, will eventually have to say that death isn't a healing. Sorry, that death is healing. That death isn't part of the, of the failure. That sometimes, at that moment, if that person is brought to a death, that means that they have said, yes, that's how I should be. And they have in some way accepted the light of the soul that brought them to that point that caused that calamity.